in the world where stress, anxiety, depression resides in every mind at one or the other point of the lifetime. Other mental disorders are also increasing in number and we need to know them so that we can grab them and control them before they cause much loss. World has been wrapped under this disorder since long. Around 20 million people are affected and in early period it starts in men. This disorder is categorized by new DSM-5 classification under psychotic disorders and is known as schizophrenia or schizophrenia spectrum. The word itself justifies this disorder. Like schizen means siblet and frene means mind, that is siblet mind disorder. According to DSM, schizophrenia is defined as psychotic disorder characterized by disturbance in thinking, emotional responsiveness and ultimately the behavior. To understand the complex causes and risk factors of schizophrenia, we need to understand the change a schizophrenic person goes through since birth till the onset and gradual increase of this disorder. The causes can be like brain structure and brain chemicals gets disturbed, Hippo, hippocampus, frontal lobe, temporal lobes seem different. Neurotransmitters like dopamine and glutamate have imbalance. Genetics also cause this disease. Like if primary or secondary relatives are involved in any mental disorder, there are chances of the babies of that family to get schizophrenia more than the family where mental disorders are not present. There can be factors like living in urban areas, parenting style where there is confusing relations among parents and children, or even perinatal hypoxia. These all account for schizophrenia. A person having schizophrenia can get ignored by us easily with this thought that there is no clue for him to get out of this disease but we need to see these symptoms very keenly like delusion where he has a different mental image which is not true hallucination where he sees smells and hears which is not present disorganized speech, catatonic behavior. In this behavior, a person has weird looks for a long time. These all symptoms are called as positive symptoms for schizophrenia. There can be symptoms like evolution, that is, demotivated, affective, that is, mood disorders, allergia, that is, complete absence of speech, and anhedonia, that is, do not feel pleasure. These symptoms are called as negative symptoms for schizophrenia. There can be cognitive symptoms like memory loss and concentration loss. Positive symptoms, negative symptoms and cognitive symptoms form this schizophrenia as schizophrenia spectrum where there are different symptoms and we need them all to know this disease really well for another part of this video stay tuned to nursing world channel and follow me on instagram with the name of nursing world 21 and if you are not yet a subscriber please go and click on the subscriber button thank you